it's time to go walk seven miles. Yes. It's a biblical number. It's a godly number. Seven. I spoke about seeing 222 over the last couple of years in a video a couple of days ago. I never looked in the videos about what the 222 means. Some of the videos I've made over the last year or year and a half, when I talked about ties directly to the 222, I found out yesterday, isn't that something? I made a video about a year ago saying that I feel like I was put on earth to be a witness to what I'm seeing and to say it. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm here is to be a witness. And that number two represents witness. Yeah, it does. John the Baptist's perfect witness. His numerical value in the Bible is 222. Isn't that something? In Acts 222, it mentions signs, miracles, and wonders all at once. Wisdom is said 222 times the Bible. Look, and then something else that I've talked about and made videos about over the last couple of years a lot is, is pride stealing the rainbow out of the Bible. God's covenant to all living flesh on earth through Noah. And they try to represent Sodom and Gomorrah with the rainbow. They stole the rainbow out of the Bible to represent pride in the 21st century. Look, that's what Sodom and Gomorrah was biblically. And they're trying to use the rainbow to represent it now. Pride, the name pride is one of the seven deadly sins. Look, that rainbow's got six colors in it, which is an incomplete number. It falls short of seven. Man was created on the sixth day. The real rainbow has seven colors. You got seven days in a week. God rests on the seventh day. Seventh day. Peter asked Christ, how many times do you forgive? How do I forgive people? What, seven? He said seven times? No, 70 times seven. Go look up the number seven in the Bible and look at six. Six is an incomplete number. So they got a rainbow with six colors. That shit aggravates me. It makes me mad because they're lying and brainwashing young people with that. The rainbow should only represent what it represents in the Bible and nothing else. Nothing else anywhere. It's not Sodom and Gomorrah. And people can whine all they want. They know it's the truth. It was that way before any of us existed. You don't hear people, oh, that do you judge? Really? You don't even follow the light of Christ to God or believe in it, and you use that to defend yourself. You use it what you don't believe to defend your, your sin. It not make any sense. Everything man goes to, they use anything. I was born that way. I was born that way. You still got choice. You still got choice. Doesn't matter how you're born. I could choose to go rob a place every day. Yeah. I could have done that four decades trying to rob every day. I don't do that. Still got choice, still got free will. I never thought I'd ever see sin promoted and funded and encouraged like it is now, ever. And all the sexual abomination promoted, sick. Trying to defend it, normalize it. And the rainbow don't represent Sodom and Gomorrah. You can get that out of your head right now. It never will. It doesn't matter who gets mad about it. That's the way it is. And you know what? The 222nd verse of the Bible is God giving the rainbow to Noah. Really? And I've been seeing that for two years all the time. So that's something. I'm glad that I'm in touch that way. I'm a lucky person. Have a good week.